You can be my body, I can be your client. We gon' get this money, baby girl, you down the ride. And we gon' make it work for us, yeah. We gon' make it work for us, yeah. We spend a lot of money, we spend a lot of time. Long as you hold me down, baby, we gon' be alright. And we gon' make it work for us, yeah. We gon' make it work for us, yeah. She my Bonnie and I know that she ride for the cause We bust a nut, we bust a lick, yeah, we breaking the law Shorty, get that money, rain, sleet or sunny If I get pop, she pop Alright folks, welcome to the In Perspective Sports Show I'm your host, that nigga, Mr. Roger Horton in the building I got my dudes with me Mr. Neutron, Jamie Neutron's in here, special guest tonight How you doing tonight, brother? Pretty good right. Oh, look out for that personal Jesus yeah, coming soon. Album coming soon. Yes, sir. Cuz, Beryl, Wills, the I'm guru. Back. I'm back. I'm yeah, back. Yeah, Will Hub's in the building. What's going on, baby? What's good? Been right. handling some business, but I put a LeBron. I'm back home. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Came back home. Ghost, Nick Everson in the building. What's good with you, baby? No, what's going on? Ain't nothing. We in here, baby. We in here. Before we get started, I'm not sure. I. Damn it, I'm gonna figure it out, but you'll see the number posted right here. D Sterling, Donald Sterling, Donnie Dookie Dick is still in there talking shit, saying he ain't gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like almost a hundred days. I'm not sure about the days. It's really like not, I don't know, like 90 I, some days for I'm real. Quick, he can count. That old buzzer ain't going nowhere. He ain't going no damn <laughs> way. And that's really gonna get crazy when the damn season gets started. I just wanna throw that Did in. Did they ever have that vote? What the hell? The hell? He ain't going nowhere, folks. The table's too long. Crazy. What you we, know? Uh, I think, you know, when they just, when, well, when the, everybody thought that the owners got together and said, hey, get him out of here, what the owners really did was smart as shit. They said, go on, find this man $2 million, which is nothing to a billionaire. You can't penalize this man twice. He's already been penalized, so can't, there's nothing you can do with this man. Really? Really, really? So they was like, throw two cents in there to the nigga. <laughs> Sell a thing for $2 billion. <laughs> Yeah, ain't nothing changed. We're gonna see. I can't wait to see what these niggas do. But it'll bring me up to LeBron for a second, y'all. You know I me. Mean? Oh, oh, oh! Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> What's up? Just let me tell the people, this nigga is a hero. When I say he's my nigga now, he's my nigga. <laughs> Man, he went back home to put on for his city. He wanted his respect. That's what the owner said. He's my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's hooping in his city. He he's he's jerseys in this city, man. They carrying them around on their back, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel <laughs> so and you can't get no bigger in one city than he is right now in that city. I can dig it, but let me just say From this. a white perspective or a black perspective? From his perspective. That's his Which city is what? though. Everybody wants to be the king of their city though, you know what I mean? Respect. I can dig it. It's a respect thing, you know. To some level. But look, this he's is just what hero. I'm saying. This, I'm, I'm, I, I, wanna, I wanna preface this with a... The, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, elaborate why you think he's a hero. That nigga's a hero, man. He, Let me he, say he did it elaborate. for the people, man. He did it for the people, man. He knew, man, his approval rating is up here now. You know why? Because the people know why he did that <laughs> shit. He's a real nigga, man. That's good shit. No, he's not. Talk to me. I, I, go ahead. Here we What's were up? just before this talking about Donald Sterling. And the things that this man was talking about, LeBron James went and fucking did. Again, this dude crucified him. He did everything but call him a nigga. And on an intelligent level, he said, yeah, this nigga, girly nigga, whatever, spit on his jersey, let people sit outside his uh, arena and burn him motherfuckers. Hey, man. Pay the boy and let him work. Let I'll him say shine. this. Let me say this. Let me say this. <laughs> it's his, it's just his look. city. We just started the show out talking about Donnie Dookie Dick Darrell the Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a culture that was going on with this whole boycott thing. And there was something being said. Then you had uh, Mark Cuban step out there. And mm -hmm. then it was becoming, you know, yeah, there was kind, kind of, of a thing going on where it was being obvious that these owners <laughs> see players a certain way. Like, you know what? Fuck that. Fuck y'all for even thinking that we're going to go against each other in here. That being said, everybody was waiting on LeBron. At some point, they even say, well, have LeBron's boycott, then, you know, it's going to be on and bobbing, you know what I'm saying, because it's fucked up. Mm -hmm. But all that being said, then you got to go back to four years when this dude wrote this letter and you see the city, his city, his home, his, his city, 
talked all kinds of shit. I'm just saying, there's some kind of fucking, to me, there's a level of integrity that just nah, seems man. to be missing in the whole situation. This is what happened, Good, though. Go, it go hurt. ahead. It hurt, man. It hurt them in their heart. And the only way you can really hate somebody is if you love them. And you love them that much, it just hurt. <laughs> and that's why they was burning them jerseys. They was like, please don't leave LeBron. We love you. You know what I'm saying? That's what you saw? Yeah. Okay. They didn't That's turn on him, man. They was just hurt. <sighs> they couldn't believe it. Google you know talk to me. I'm way in on it for you, baby. What you got? Hey, hero? Man. Hey. I think he's a hero. The, the, the man, yeah, man, level. The man yeah. from, depending on what perspective you from, <laughs> from a certain perspective, he is. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Hey, man, the man is controlling his own destiny, pretty much. Right. The man want to go home. He was homesick. He want to go home. He want to raise his kids. Where well, he grew up. Okay. And his wife had a lot to do with that. What you mean? Savannah. What'd she say? She wanted to go home. Did she? Yeah. Okay, I didn't hear that. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Oh, yeah. She, she put out some kind of tweet. Give a damn. He's a Ron home. James. He don't give a damn. He went home. He went home. Well, he went home. He went home. He was home sick. Yeah, going home. I'll be home in the morning. I mean, come on, man. I mean, it's not like he, you know, home is only for two months out of the year. I mean, he's on the road. Come on, man. That home shit is just kind of, you know. Look, I, I, this, this is the problem he right home. here. It's cool. Him, him being, yeah, him being the cool. boss of the bosses amongst the players and having the, the league by the balls and the momentum. In the same year, that we just, I'm telling y'all, this owner shit in disrespect. He, he didn't speak for the Clippers. He spoke as a fucking hoe of all owners and how they look at these fucking players. They like property. No, okay, and he, I've never seen a player ever leave a city and the owner come out and identify him as a piece of property like he didn't have respect for him. Come leaving. on, man! It was the most utter disrespect. Come on, man! Y'all can't do it like if you're talking about this Donald Sterling. We are talking about Donald Sterling. Thank you. In the name of the Cleveland Gibson, Cleveland Donald of the Cleveland, it's all the fucking same. He just didn't say those things. He did it. He did the press conference and all that shit too, though. That that who, made LeBron? Him, yeah, that made him look really bad. You know what I'm saying? Made who look bad? Why did not that be make him going to Miami? Not no, I'm not saying going to Miami, but the way he did it, that kind of made him look bad. You know, to the oh, people. The decision. Yeah, the decision. Oh yeah, that's from a white right perspective. How dare a nigga? No, I'm not, are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah. I didn't like the are shit. Are you kidding me? Right. I loved it. That's all in who's looking because when I seen I the shit, like it, it was awesome. I did. Fucking you awesome. You know why? Because not only that, he he, he had the copyrights to that fucking show or that announcement. That's taking control of your own destiny. And told the ESPN, if y'all want me to see, y'all gonna buy this shit. Now, then I'll tell you where the fuck I'm going. Just for the decision. Uh, That's taking your destiny in your own hands. That's controlling your shit. This shit he did here, I can't see it all the way yet, except that, you know, he went home. He went home. I get mad. I What's a good that? look. They got a nice squad. But I'm going to tell you what. Keep Wiggins. I know some successful motherfuckers, so called or whatever, and I'm just saying that we're from a small motherfucking town. Ain't nobody came back to save this motherfucker, so that no home <laughs> shit is played. I ain't never seen no shit like that for real, for real. I'm going home to save my city. Where the niggas had to come save this motherfucking city? Church. Come on. I'm just saying. I don't know what's really, really real in LeBron saying I want to go home. I don't know. It might be something, might be something different. I think one, I think you just said fuck Miami. He was pissed off in Miami. Yeah. The way he he coughed out. He, uh, bruh. I don't know. And he went, and he went, look, listen, he did not, he, he, this is what's deep, he did not want to deal with the media again in a perspective of him. So he ran, he ran up on that safe rock, and, and the rock was going to crush him, man. The rock that crushed him, this motherfucker ran up under. This dude spit on his fucking jersey, homeboy. Had them people out there, white folks out there spitting on his jersey out there, burning them motherfuckers. Y'all know how big that was? Came out That's there big, with such bro. a fucking asshole response. <laughs> the people might not have been so fucking asshole with their responses, but he, that trickled down. This piece of shit motherfucker gonna be so uh, my the, your children should not look at this dude as a hero no more. This the shit this dude did, bro. I mean, he tried to take his whole brand and shit on it, but he going back home. We're gonna take. In a the same year, Donald Trump said, "No place like home." Like niggas. This We're gonna take a mob, break, dog. This is the mob. I didn't even really disgrace him. That made the owner look bad. You know what I'm saying? What? Putting that shit out there, crying and shit. You know what I mean? You gonna write a love letter to you crying because Le LeBron left? You mad? Never seen that before in your life. No, man. no. So that made him look bad. I didn't discredit LeBron. I, niggas was just mad. Like, nah, what was discredited LeBron with a nigga like Mwah. 
that nigga. It's what the fuck is, give me a statement or something. I mean, what was the conversation? I mean, really, I mean, when you went and seen that coach, the, uh, the owner again, LeBron, what was the conversation? I mean, I'm curious as a motherfucker, dude. You made this big decision to go to, to play the NBA. You made this big decision to go with Miami. Now you just went silent under the rock. Like, what you say? I mean, he ain't really said, to me, he ain't said nothing. Dan Gilbert said, get your black ass back in court. And don't say a motherfucking thing. I don't know what it is, bro. I'm King just saying. James. Did you see when, Dan, when he said, yeah, King James is coming home? Did y'all see Dan Gilbert say that? No, I didn't. What about it? It just seemed sarcastic as fuck. Like, yeah, King James is coming home. He called him King, though, didn't he? He called him King, but it was in some sarcastic. As long they as he called him King. He apologize to the King. Kiss the He's rings. not going to do it. Do you yeah. know what that would say to the motherfucking owners? Bitch, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think From that. a real perspective, the fact LeBron, he don't have to say shit, the fact LeBron James came back. What's he have to say? He said, this is how you shit on a nigga. You can shit on a nigga morally. You can degrade him publicly. And he'll come back. And he'll come back to you. Treat a nigga bad. Just like Donald Sterling said, they don't give a fuck as long as you give them checks. They ain't going nowhere. I clothe them, I feed them, I take care of them. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, man. They it's treat them boys spin. good in the oh, league. They, they take good care of them boys in the league. I yeah. seen that new Carl LeBron was here, man. Man, it's a billion oh, dollars. Man. He's getting fucking nothing. You see that nigga's car? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see the fucking owner's arena? You know what I mean? Shh. They can put about a... Yeah, you can have that car. From what yeah. he had. But you want an arena or a fucking Ferrari. But I'm saying, that's... But you want an arena or a Ferrari, bro? That's a good start, though, right? No. That motherfucker ain't gonna sell that team to LeBron until he's about half dead. <laughs> he don't never do that. There ain't no motherfucking way he's gonna do that. Why would he do that now? Now his investment is up. It's up. Why would I sell your black ass my shit? Why would I sell you my shit? This my shit. I will get another one of you. Fuck you. This my shit. I'm just saying. That's what everybody's little fantasy is that he's gonna own the team one day. No. no. Listen, I want to tell y'all this. Next it, year, bro. they got a collective bargaining this is a agreement. Thing. Watch. I wish he would, cuz. Watch. But damn it, I don't see it. Watch. What? I don't see why he would sell it to him unless he's about dead. Watch. You know what I'm saying? Well, what well, would it, why would he sell it, why he sell it to him? Why would you sell it to him? Why would, why yeah. would, why would why you not? sell it to LeBron? Hmm? If you was Dan Gilbert, why would you sell it to LeBron after 10 years, let's just say? And it's got you five rings. Let's just give it the gold. Now, why would you sell it if it's doing that fucking well? Why not? Why? Why not? No, no, cuz. Why? Let the homeboy on Who's the team. Gonna... Let the homeboy on the team. You in fancy world, my nigga. <laughs> nah, fuck you. The homeboy, the one that he talked shit about and talked. Man, what and begged him to come back? You yeah. think the he lady begged him? Yeah, he flew down shit. there. The bulls was you still think he begged him? Flew down there. Please, no. LeBron, please. All he did was say, come on, come on, come on, come on, come You can do Blue anything you want. You can run the Blue team, the whoever you want here. LeBron ain't going in. He went to LeBron. You can pick your own now, team, boy. run your own place, Bet. just come Bet. back. Open up all you want to. The slaves went back home. To Massa. That's what happened. Y'all in denial. That's what happened. Massa begged you and whoop you, you gonna still come back? Because he begged. I don't see it. You gonna go back? Like you gonna that. go back at the master spit on you and, and whoop you and you cause cause he begged? This nigga got total control Next over question. the team. Exactly right. He ain't got shit. He got total he control. He get, he get over paid. He keep it check. What higher privilege can you have as a basketball player? Damn shit. What you mean? Elaborate. Let's go deep. Look. You gonna win the title for a separate playing king? Yeah, right. Separate playing team. He said, we're going to win a title before the self-proclaimed king wins one. Yeah, but then Ooh, when this man's a billionaire, LeBron James, he can talk all the shit he wants. LeBron should never went back there with it. Or else we wouldn't be having this conversation. I didn't think he would go back. I he mean, shocked everybody. I right. Yes, he did. He, he shocked shot everybody. Shot. I can't believe it. I still, I still I don't, don't believe it. But hey. I he went back home. Shit. It was the best <laughs> thing for him. He went best. back home. That's he what did. he needed to do. That's it. All right. It just don't look He's got total know, control. Bro. What other player in the NBA has total control? Y'all not thinking about the Kobe ring Bryant, he said. Because he's the greatest. Oh, Donald he, Sterling called the whole league niggas. And, 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 and the biggest nigga in the league had his freedom papers and fucking went back. And which next year, that he has no momentum. He's, them players ain't gonna, I don't think they're going to fall behind LeBron until they collect the bargain agreement. He lost a lot of leverage, bro. I think he did, man. I'm sorry. Future wise, he lost a lot of leverage. He's not that. He's gonna be. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. We didn't think he'd go back to Cleveland, but he did. 
We'll see. And we thought he was going to get 9-1. What? Not where two, was not a better three, situation? Not 4, not 5, not 6, not 7. You got huh? well, was a better situation. In the same year, the part, the, the, the story is Donald Sterling. Speaking for all the uh, white men's I'm fucking mentality. Well, this you, you, it happens on your fucking job and everywhere you go. Let's talk about the politics and what's going on socially, niggas. Man, but to play, this ain't no sports show. It's politics, nigga. To play, let's talk the politics of things. Come on. To play in the NBA. But change it to in perspective politics. Uh, in, in perspective? No, I don't have to. The in perspective is a politics show, Willie Ups. Well, then change it to politics. Then. No, it is. I ain't only joking, bro. Change this it. is a political show to me. It's like no goddamn sports show. Run for president. Hey, nope. <laughs> nigga like me gonna die. Quit. I can do more damage with this show than I can behind that fucking photo man. White man's nigga. <laughs> It's a white man country. I don't want to be put up. Breathe, breathe. Hey, man, you breathe. I'm breathing. I ain't got no problem. Okay, it's well, no look. race, nothing, but it's real. Look, we're going to go ahead. Bring your ass on back This home, subject man. will come back up a whole bunch. Watch. But the new East, the new NBA East, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. I don't think LeBron is going to win for two or three years. I'm sorry, even if they do then. Kyrie be getting hurt. He's going to have to turn into LeBron that carries everybody again. I don't care how I give him scrubs. <laughs> he got some scrubs up that motherfucker, dog. I don't give a fuck. He's going to get old-ass Mike Miller again, old-ass Ray. Get the fuck out of here. He's building a bunch of whack bullshit that he can sit and talk shit about. Because when he takes over the squad and does everything on his own again, these bitch niggas ain't going to say nothing. He ain't got nobody on his team to say nothing. Who going to say something? <laughs> them motherfucking scrubs ain't gonna say nothing. So I don't see them doing nothing. Honestly, I don't three know what to oh, expect. It's gonna, I mean, they gonna win in Miami the expect. first year. I mean, it's gonna be some growing pains. Yes, but that's why. Right. He's gonna take some lumps. Mm. Who else is in the East, though? Well, he Bulls, might be that next year. <laughs> the Bulls got better. Wow. I mean, what? I mean, they got power to some. Oh, God damn, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, they did. Woo! Yes, they did. <laughs> yeah, motherfucking Taj and Powell. That, that big motherfucking the Lakers, squad. Man. I'm big, big, big squad. Mike D'Antoni did that kid wrong. Who? Uh, Powell. Powell. Yeah, yeah, what did he do, though? Bench did. But Powell wasn't balling, though. He looks shit. He looks shit. He should have been traded three seasons ago. He didn't worth $20 million, though, Willie. No, but that's why the Lakers is in this mess now, because they hung on the Powell to They are a better team. They should have moved him. The Bulls. I will. Well, yeah, that's a different. If they make a trade with Kevin Love, oh my goodness. Who? The Bulls. The Bulls. Who's Derrick Rose Watson. Awesome. Derrick Rose. If Kevin Love come out, Derrick Rose, Rose is leaving. They on the same tier, buddy. Derrick Rose wants something in Chicago. Give a damn what he wants. The owner's like, one of y'all got to go to get him. One of who? You can, listen, they don't look at it. They don't like gonna gonna go. Alpha A, A, B, 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 B. Who is going to go? Who is going to go? Kevin Love's top five in the league. Who is going to trade for Kevin Love? What are you talking about? They got the money to pick some players up. Who, the Bulls? Yeah. But I'm saying, if they do that, they got like... Minnesota want somebody same. out of it, though. Who they, yeah. Minnesota's going to be like, y'all can get me somebody. Uh, they want Rose. And uh, uh, Jimmy Butler. I wouldn't take that shit, though. But, no, they got throwing more. Just like I mean, the they got like they four in the same shit. position, though. They got to bring in another squad they, to make something happen for that. They got a whole bunch of power forwards, you know what I'm saying? The best trade is the state. You know, I guess they're going to rebound niggas to death. Who's going to score? On Chicago? Yeah. I don't see who's scoring buckets. Who's I mean, Paul can score. In the right I don't situation. think so. Not with a Rose. You can ball with Paul. I don't know what Rose is going to look like, though. Yeah, that's yeah. Not, not, I hope he can, can still like. jump and do them super He ain't going to do that shit, bro. They say he's very high. That, that, that remains to be seen. It's he's going to be jumping high, high, but he's not. But that's not what it was. It was the motherfucking. He's got to change his style of play. Them cuts, bro. You can't make them cuts. Some nigga make cuts out of this world. I ain't never seen nobody talk his body like that in Never. Yeah. Just ah, go down hard. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, good yeah. God. That nigga would go down hard. He was known for that. <laughs> Paul Pierce to the Wizards. Paul Pierce. Wow. Well, hey, name that. That's hey. a good pick. That's he can toughen nice him up. Pick. Yes, it is. Wizards, Wizards going to be nice. Mm, yeah. yeah. Building something there. I, I, I still think LeBron and them got a chance Paul this year Bill. coming out of the East this week. Yeah, look out for Bill. He, he, he. No, it it's going to be nice it, next year. It, it is. It ain't weak, though. It ain't bro. like that fucking West. LeBron James could come out of the East next year. Yeah, that's mm. true. Mm. At this level, who's going to stop him? I don't the know why he's stopping him. The Hornets are making some moves. Damn right. I was going to say, the Hornets. Yeah. Motherfucker, Indiana's still going to be a problem. They ain't got rid of their horses. They got rid of their horses. They took a big hit losing Steven. Steven, no. That's big motive, people. I'm just saying, this is where you get to see your boy stand up, though. 
the big tall hip and motherfucker and the damn little other dude. Yeah, he's been working with Kareem now, so uh, he's trying to reach George. He's trying to build his career. Paul George's got every other game. Paul George's got game. We'll know this year. He does have game. We'll know this year. We got a hot We will know. We will he didn't want Lance back. I don't know where his head's at. He's got game, though. He can do it all. Well, let's move it. Why don't nobody want to play with Kobe? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> they say that he's just too work in. Now, I heard somebody saying today that the young boys, they don't want to go play with Kobe. Kobe want to work too much. These young, young boys want to just be social. Mm-hmm. Have a good time. Type shit, you know what I'm saying? Didn't yeah. nobody want to work know. with Jordan? <laughs> no, that was a comparative, right? Didn't nobody want to work with Jordan. Jordan yeah. I don't think that's it. I, yeah, they did want I don't think that's it. They asked on them dudes, and you know, and that's what they don't. That's what they no, see obviously they Jordan. Yeah, he was needed. staring away. From you that. was uh, what? politics, man. Jordan was a political motherfucker. You don't, you especially back in that. You don't go back in that time and make your money commercially without, without using. That's why he left for two years, like. Jordan won in the top ten when he when he left when he retired when he came back getting thirty million a year. Y'all remember that, don't you? Oh, he was severely underpaid. Mm-hmm. That's why he was out them two fucking years. But the roster looks better than it does last year, so I'm I'm happy for my Lakers. The roster looks so oh, man, they, Kobe got, they got Boozer there, man. Yeah, yeah. They, they got, got Boozer. They got Ed Davis. They got Jeremy Lamb. They got Ed Wesley Davis. Johnson. Yeah. Who was that? Yeah, Wesley Which Johnson. Carolina. Carolina. I got him. Ed Davis. Wow. The tall skinny nigga? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I ain't seen him. I don't know what the hell he's He's better than the lineup last year. (laughs) Why they don't play with him? What do you think? Ah. I think they pussies. I really think that they are, you know what I'm saying, with the whole Shaq thing, like he tail on you, you know. Alright, welcome back to the Imperspective Sports Show. Uh, Shabazz Napier, the one that LeBron liked the most in the draft, he loved Le- Le- uh, Napier, and they made all kind of moves, and they got him to the squad. They got Napier to the squad, and then LeBron leaves Miami, <laughs> and then they said that uh, Shabazz Napier deleted it from uh, <laughs> uh, Twitter. <laughs> wow, I thought it was funny. I think uh, they said that. Uh, Little Sh- Shabazz said, "I didn't mean to do that. I ain't even been on my Twitter." But I was like, "Shit." He cut the hell out of LeBron. Like, ah, oh, man, that's fucked up. You gonna leave me like that? <laughs> Le- Le- LeBron be breaking niggas' hearts. Yeah, he do. He stoned on him real bad. Because he was real hyped about him coming to the sport. He ain't seen D Wade in weeks. Nah, he's salty. He's right. somewhere looking sad. <laughs> like his girlfriend just left him. He's somewhere losing weight. Yeah, he said he's trying to lose weight. Really. That's what's up. It's D Wade's team. Uh. NBA, possible midterm NBA tournament they're thinking about. In the middle of the season. What the hell is that? That's what this new commissioner is really pushing right now. I was like, what? Because they said that the All-Star game really don't mean nothing. It's more like an exhibition. It doesn't mean anything. Who wins East-West? There's nothing in it. So they, I think he's trying to put something like um, like a lottery win, for the t- a lottery pick. You know, you get your name into the lottery. You know what I'm saying? Because you could be a regular team that wins this tournament but don't make the playoffs or makes the playoffs and still have a chance for the lottery pick. He's trying to make a, a, a game, a tournament that's worth something, that has a real stake in it, some money and a lottery bid type yeah, shit. That word tournament sounds good. Man. I don't know. I don't know. I just think he's bored sitting in his office and like, hmm, let's do a tournament to be the teacher. I like the all-star game. Though. I don't like the... Uh, other stuff, though. I like the All Star game. Yeah, but it's like an exhibition. It don't yeah, mean yeah, nothing, yeah. you know. That's what he's talking about. Like, let's make it mean something. I can feel him on that a little bit. Let's like play a one on one tournaments in the middle of the season. Shit, you would never see that. I broke my leg in the game, you know, against Kobe. Uh, you know, that's the yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Kind of like the Christmas tournament. Season, I mean the tournament. Mid season, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But okay. have a you know big stake at the end to win, you know, whatever. Well, okay, it's entertainment. Entertain us. Entertain us. Cause we're all just. <clears throat> but I didn't mention though that the Hornets do get. They got Lance Stevenson. Yeah. It's a real nice pickup. Pick man. Nice pickup. I don't know. I like that nigga. I like.
like that nigga. Go, go blow on some niggas' ears, nigga. You do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes. Man, shit. I seen that nigga guarding LeBron, though. He had heart, though. He was putting good defense on him, man. I was like, that's the kind of player you want on your team. Yeah. No, it's not. I'll tell you why. Why? Because these players, they step up and play LeBron, but they don't do this in the night and night out. They everybody else in the league. Mm -hmm. Can I give you an example, though? Last year, first round, Bobcats versus Miami. Who's guarding LeBron? That little skinny nigga with, uh, who was it, Douglas Roberts or somebody. I forgot who was guarding him, but it was a little skinny nigga. The little nigga from Duke, what's his name? Uh, Henderson? Yeah. No, nah, I wasn't Henderson. It was, uh, oh, it was uh, the nigga from Kentucky. Is that how you said? Du uh, Douglas, yeah. Douglas, CD. Douglas, Douglas Roberts. Roberts. Might Gilbert. be Douglas Roberts. Oh, I don't know who you're talking Might about. Might be Douglas Roberts. But anyways, the point is, when you got a player like Stevenson that can guard him, man, that'll get you a long way, especially in the playoffs. That could have got them, you know, in the series a little bit, just to have somebody to slow him down. They didn't have one person on their team that could guard him. I don't even know why they picked up Gilchrist. They can't even unload him if they want it to, because everybody's seen this game, and it's average at best. <laughs> I see him in person multiple times, and... Henderson's better than he is. Wow. Mm. I don't know. I think it's a good look, though. I think we'll be all right. I think they'll get a full five seed. I can see that. I can see that. We got we to gotta do something with Gilchrist, though. <laughs> You're right. Everybody uh, else is looking good on that roster. <laughs> I hope so. Shit, I want to go see some games. Shit, I'll be there this year. Y'all seen shit. Gilchrist play, though? And, and, yeah, I ain't heard about him doing shit. Yeah. He's average as hell. Yeah, he's, he's learning. He's getting the headlights type shit. <laughs> uh, I got this last thing. I thought it was kind of entertaining. I thought, well, well, we'll be back. Give me two seconds. In perspective, baby. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the In Perspective Sports Show. Before we go, I just had one thing that I want the uh, all our fans, participants, we want to come up with the, give us your favorite or best sports song ever. Hit us up on the book. Hit us up. Email, whatever. SM3media.com. Holler at us. We'll be back next week. I'll be good. Holler at us. Bye.